There is a hardcore bunch of mariners among the seafaring community who enjoy heading out onto the water when their sea state would ordinarily keep most mariners alongside. But you cannot head out into big seas on just any old boat. After all, you are putting your life in the hands or whichever vessel you decide to go out on. So you have to trust that it is up to the job. And if someone asked me to join them on their Targa 46 in some rough weather, then I would be a bald faster than you could say, full sight gal. When I heard that Wessex Marine would be at the 2021 Southampton Boat Show, then I just had to jump aboard their Targa 46. So join me as we take a look at this genuine, all-weather, offshore boat. The Targa 46 has a large swim platform that leads on to the equally large cockpit. As soon as you step aboard the Targa 46, you get a sense of being aboard a vessel that wants you to take her out into some rough weather. The cockpit gives you ready and quick access to the engine compartments and the teak decks are a gentle reminder that as well as being a sturdy boat, this vessel is also an extremely high-end one. As we walk along the starboard side, notice the high gunnels, which are complemented with a guardrail. This really is a boat that wants to keep you and your passengers safe. Next to the helm station, we have some additional seating for anyone who wants to get a helmsman view of the green water that you're going to be speeding through at a high rate of knots. Notice also the grab rails and the hand rails, which provide additional safety for the crew and passengers. Heading forward onto the bow, you will be hard pressed to find a boat that is as neat as it is functional. Everything you need is right where you need it, which is so essential if you decide to take a Targa 46 out on your own. Looking aft, we have the forward raking windows, a telltale sign of any boat that is designed for serious cruising in all weather conditions. On this boat, we have a searchlight on the starboard side and a high powered floodlight on the port side. On the overhead of the main superstructure are two windows that can be opened for additional ventilation. I love the communal areas of the Targa 46. The open feel here, along with the huge windows, really give you a sense of being intimately connected with your surroundings. Join me now as we head back along the port side towards the cockpit, where we will step inside the saloon and see what this outstanding boat has to offer. As we walk through the doors, we are greeted by that open, airy, bright and inviting area. 
The layout here is exceptional. Thanks to this open layout, the social element of boating is emphasised. Next we arrive at my favourite part of any boat, the helm station. This 46 is fitted with a bow and stern thruster and has all of the electronics that you will need for long distance motoring. The two large Garmin displays give all of the essential information you will need from the digital chart plotter and the radar. Up here we have the dial indicators for the septic and freshwater tanks and an audio entertainment system, the roll pitch indicators and a weather trend system that lets you know if there is a sudden change in the atmospherics that could mean some rough weather is inbound. Ok, now let us head down into the forward accommodation area. Here we have a nicely laid out twin berth cabin with lots of storage space in both the port and starboard bulkheads. The windows in the overhead also allow lots of natural light to flow into the area. Aft of this area is another berthing area for a single bunk. To starboard we have the bathroom for the master cabin that is large and is once again filled with lots of natural light. I would love to see the interior of this amazing boat at night. The way it is lit is just soothing and warming especially thanks to the indirect lighting that can be found around the boat. Over here on the starboard side we have a couple of essential appliances and note also the heated seat with the switch on the port side of the helm station. Now we have had a nosy around in here, it's time to head down to the aft accommodation section of this just beautiful boat. As we head down into the aft accommodation, the first thing we are met with is the shower and head. Here we have a decent sized twin berth for your family or friends who are willing to join you on your high speed offshore voyages of nautical discovery. As we head up the stairs and take a sharp left, we'll also find some more accommodation. So to summarize on this Targa 46, we have a twin berth forward with a single berth aft and in the aft accommodation we have a twin berth with another separate single berth. Now we are back on the cockpit about to head up onto the flybridge of the Targa 46. Whilst the seating and helm station were covered when I came up here you really do get a sense of the fantastic all-round view that this flybridge gives you. On the radar mast we have a Garmin radar, atop that we have a weather vane and on the starboard side of this radar mast is a forward-looking infrared camera with a 360 degree rotation. During nighttime operations and navigation, this fantastic bit of kit really is a godsend. Behind the helm station on the starboard side is this L shaped seating. Now we have finished having a quick look around the flybridge, join me as I head back down onto that massive cockpit. If you wanted to, then you could easily fit a decent sized table and chairs 
or some alfresco dining with your family and friends. The finish and craftsmanship of the Targa 46 is excellent with the sort of build quality that you would expect on a brand that is famous for its sea keeping qualities. The Targa 46 oozes functional capability. This particular boat belongs to a chap who is aged in his 80s who regularly takes it out on his own, which is testament to the practical setup of this high speed all season offshore powerhouse. The length overall of the Targa 46 is 49 foot and 6 inches, which is 15.11 meters. Her beam is 13 foot or 3.95 meters, and she pulls a draft of just 1.1 meters, which is 3 foot and 6 inches. Her fuel tanks will carry 1500 litres of fuel and she can be fitted with either two Volvo Penta D6 440 HPs, two Volvo Penta IPS 650 480 HPs or two Volvo Penta IPS 800 600 horsepower engines and she has a top speed of between 34 and 40 knots. But what do you think of the Targa 46? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to give the video a like and to subscribe to my channel.